pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The coast is clear. The humans have left. Come on, let's go. Masia, why are the fish looking so tired? Because they're not getting enough air in there. The water in the aquarium is dirty and it needs air, but the filter isn't working. The filter? Yes, that device over there. These fish need our help, and if we don't do something right now, they could die! Right! First, I'll fix that light, while you and Masia go over there and see what is wrong with the filter. But I want to go and look at the filter, too! You're too small for this! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! And you're a giant! I mean, you're like six feet tall, huh? That's enough arguing! No lick, let's go! Well, let's check it! Not working. Nolik, where are you? I'm up here. What are you doing up there? Nothing. Holding on. We don't have time for that. Get down. We have to get this switch working. <laughs> Marcia, what's the matter with the filter? Well, probably something's caught inside and it's stopping the motor from turning. A filter is used to keep the aquarium water clean. A motor in a filter turns the paddles and pumps water through a fine net or a sponge. The dirt in the water gets trapped in there and the cleaned water is put back into the aquarium. Many filters not only clean the water but also add air to it so there will be more oxygen in the water. You see, even though fish live their lives in water, they need oxygen just like all of us. of ways for people to breathe underwater. As an experiment, try putting an empty glass upside down in water and you'll see that some of the air stays in there. That's the idea behind the ancient diving bell. An empty bell was lowered under the water and some of the air remained in there for the diver to breathe. And about 200 years ago, the first diving suits were invented. The diver got air from a hose that started above the water. This let the diver spend a long time under the water and even walk around on the bottom, but just not too far. Later on, people learned to squeeze a lot of air inside of metal tanks, and that's when scuba diving started. Scuba divers breathe the air stored in these tanks so they can swim freely and even dive deep down below the water. Our work is done. The light is on and the filter is working. And the fish look so excited! As if they're not fish, but monsters! Thank goodness they're behind glass! <gasps> Papus! Just hang on! We'll be right there to save you! <sighs> but I don't even have my pack a mat Ooh, look how they're chopping their teeth! They must be so hungry! You're right! They're hungry! Nolik, come on! <laughs> Boom! 
I can't believe those fish. They're so ungrateful. We went ahead and fixed their filter, and all they wanted to do was gobble us up. And I'm the one who saved you from them. I was the one watching what was going on. Whoop. <sighs> oh, gee. Hold it. Do you think giving her some uh, food will help? As long as you're not thinking that food is me. Fixies go to fixie schools and study to be masters. There's so much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let the secret out. The drum. Now, let's turn it on. It's buzzing. You hear it? I would love to. But the only thing I can hear is Nolik's banging. Nolik, what are you doing? I'm rehearsing my solo. Nolik's the drummer in our rock band. Didn't you know that? Why don't you go and rehearse somewhere else, if you wouldn't mind? Yeah, all right. I just can't work like this. No, like, stop it, please. Oh, my head is just splitting. Professor Eugenius, will you come to the laboratory? There's something very strange in there. What? I'm hearing some kind of awful sounds. You are? I think it's a ghost. Back from the dead. Don't you worry about ghosts, Lisa. I'll check what it is. Hmm, so it's you making the racket. What? I'm just rehearsing. Well, what is it? Uh, don't worry, it's just a piece of equipment rattling. You know what you should do? You should go and practice back at home, my young friend. It's not very hard to make a drum. One way to make it is to take an empty barrel and replace its bottom with a skin made of leather or plastic. If the skin is stretched tightly, the sound can get very bright and loud. Really big drums are usually played with percussion mallets or beaters, while smaller drums can be played with sticks or with bare hands. Instruments that make sounds by being shaken, scraped, or beaten are all called percussion instruments. There are lots of different percussion instruments, like the small hand drums that are called bongos, big shakers with handles called maracas, cymbals made out of metal. Now those really make a lot of noise. And there's tambourines, ratchets, and even spoons. That's right! People can make music using spoons as a percussion instrument. Tom Thomas, do you think I could practice my drumming here? Yeah. Go ahead. I've just got some homework to do. I can do that, and better than you can, too. And what if I play like this, huh? Then I'll go like that, or like that. Keep going, Nolik. This is fun. Maybe it's fun for you. Bang, 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 b
drum. Stop, that's enough. Oh, oh, oh. Bang the drum. And now, let's turn it off. Can you hear that? It stopped buzzing. It did. Hey, everybody, it's Nolik. Yo, what's up? So, our noisy ghost is back. I thought you were practicing at home now. Tom Thomas is drumming there. I had to run away. Well, our excursion is over. And now I would just be so happy to listen to your rock group. Please don't let their secret out. 